Okay guys, um, it's gonna be a quick how-to video on how to adjust the camber on a McLaren. Now I think this is not model specific. I think this goes through the line. They have similar suspension geometry and setup. So if you have a cam on the top of your knuckle uh, where the upper controller and ball joint meets, um, this is how you're gonna be able to adjust the camber. So there's not a ton of adjustment here, but there is enough to dial it in. Um, so you have to shoot the alignment first and you have to get your readings and then once you have the readings, you have to take the wheel off. You have to separate the upper control arm from the knuckle. Come on down in here. And this applies the same to the front and the rear. So you, there's a nut under here that you have to take off. And uh, you loosen that up and separate these two here. And then this is a cam. So the cam has a set screw in it. The cam is offset underneath. So as you turn the cam, it will move the knuckle in or out and adjust the camber um, on the front and the rear. These are on all four corners. So. For McLaren, uh, when you move the cam, it moves it 0.12 degrees per uh, set screw hole. So you kind of have to do the math based off of your readings that you got on your first alignment so that you can plan ahead and move it as many times as you need to because you're doing it blind here. You're not gonna be able to watch the readings change. So we moved this to um, two set screw holes here, which is gonna come out to 0.24 degree change um, in the positive direction. So it's going to give us less negative camber on this side. Um, but yeah, that's how you can dial a camber in on a McLaren for any, mostly alignment techs out there that probably maybe got one of these come in the shop and they're not too familiar with them. This is really going to help you out in knowing how to adjust the camber on all four corners.